Yo there guys and welcome to my YouTube channel. In my last video tutorial, I talked about how to activate the developer tab in Excel. So in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a macro with the macro recorder. Okay. Inside of Microsoft Excel, there are a few different ways that you can go about creating a macro. What I'm going to show you up here is perhaps the most accessible, the easiest way to create macros in, inside of Excel. We are going to use what is called a macro recorder. Okay, we are literally all we do is to record macro. At that moment, Excel is now going to start recording anything we do in the application anything you click on a button you click on a, a cell you could get a worksheet anything you do inside of a cell it will now be recorded the cell is busy writing down everything that you do so let us try this out we are going to record ourselves cleaning up this simple little table here all right so step one have got a developer tab here active there is here is it at the top of my screen on the far left have got its code section hmm? and in there i'm going to record macro so have i will give it a click okay all right this is going to open up my record macro dialog box where it drew a little bit of input of our whole we are going to set up our macro now so first thing i need to name the macro okay i need to name the macro so i'm going to call this format thing okay good now i want to point out that there are some best practices to get in into as you are creating macros one of them is no spaces in your macro names okay please note no spaces in as they won't allow it so just stay away from it you can use hyphen that will work if you want to kind of stimulate a space that is great but just no spaces in general you can give them a short cut key i want to try my macros to shortcut key so the next time when i want to format this table all i do is to press control on my shortcut shortcut key so now i will use j as my shortcut key that is what i'm going to use we we get to dictate where we are going to store the macros or essentially where the macro is going to be accessible from it in this demonstration i'm going to store it okay i'm going to store it in this workbook okay meaning the active workbook i am that we are currently within but we we do have a few other options here look into these other options here but one of the most common one is in this workbook so i'll give it a click now we can also give it a description okay you can also give it a description here just something simple like simple like this macro places headers okay on the table and format the data okay yeah this is not only for you okay the creator of the macro but perhaps for other people such as your co-workers 
and so on that are going to come in and take a look at your macros and work with your macro as well all right so just put some type of descriptions okay in there now that is it give it a name optionally the shortcut key okay where you are going to store it where these macros is going to be accessible from and any additional note description that you want to leave behind now i'm going to hit on what okay but the moment I, that i hit on okay button we are now recording as there we write down everything that you do so how we hit on what okay button okay and once i'm now recording okay you can see it up here on my developer tab okay that my button is no longer showing record macro but show shows stop recording okay i'm not going to click on it here don't click on it because i haven't done anything yet but we are recording all right so my first step okay i'm going to insert a row hop at the top of my list here because i'm going to put in some headers okay here so i'm going to click on the row one okay i'm going to click on the row one and i'm going to use a short code key okay okay i'm going to do a control plus okay i'm going to do a control plus okay now i'm using the the plus key on my number pad if you use the plus key and at the, at the if you use the plus key at the top of your keyboard you have to do a control shift plus but either method or you can right click okay right click then in then right click then and insert your role as well but remember as i just recorded that so now i'm going to insert some headers right here we will call these let's call this employee hmm, id okay yes yeah, last name okay first name Okay. Departments. Okay. Email. Okay. Phone extension. Location. I add it. basic B. okay all right so once 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 again i'm recording all this all this and as is writing down all this operation okay and all this little step i have just done here like insert like insert hmm? A row put some test as header now let's go back and format it so let's grab the headers okay let's grab the headers okay and i'll go to my home tab right here okay then i'm just going to format them okay i'm going to navigate to my format section here so okay select blue select blue okay and select blue okay then give it a white tag give it a white tag with a white tag okay and make it bold and give it a little bit larger size okay 
okay that's look good okay all right so now i have got some headers now i want to format the basic p as well as currency okay so i'm going to select that okay? i'm going to select that i will grab it from the high to and i'm going to do a shortcut key here i'm going to hold on to my control shift down okay down button from the my keyboard it jumped me all the way to the bottom and i'm going to format that then go to my home tab okay so we go, go to my home tab then underneath right, the number section i'm going to turn on the wall the currency good okay as a symbol here so all right so now i got a dollar amount and i want to format the date as well so let's grab the date okay let's grab the date likewise and then hold on to my control shift down button for my keyboard all the way down towards all the way down to h h54 54 okay and i'm going to format that as well as different this style so i don't want the i don't want the short date here as also i don't want the long day log date here so i'm going to go down more to the more number format here okay good and now we format this one with this date okay with a with a two digit then three letters then two digit i think this is should be okay it should be okay so i'm going to give it a click okay and put on my okay button all right that's good that's a little bit fine okay i have now formatted my date things are looking good i think i want to make a couple of more adjustments here i'm going to change the colon i want to change the colon width okay okay all right yeah just to make them a little bit wider now once again remember everything i'm doing here is there is recording oh look at that i misspell something here the basic pay written as what well, basic basis pay okay but where where how to fix it in my, i will fix that in my next video tutorial so i will fix it right now but excel will record it so i'm going to ignore that for now but we will come back to it okay let's try one more let's try one let's try one more okay uh, let's let's try one more thing here i'm going to eat on my on my on my list then and i'm going to turn on the wall the filter so i will click into my list here okay so i'm going to go to my data okay i'm going to go to my data then i'm going to turn on the wall the filter the big filters button there Okay, now once again as i just wrote that down hard header format but also turn on the wall the filter session all right so we have now recorded a macro so our next step and a very important step okay once you are done you perform you have performed all the necessary steps that you want the macro to do you have you have to stop okay you have to stop recording so you have to stop recording okay so very important okay very important click okay. so i'm going to go back to my developer which i've done it i'm going to go back to my developer tab then then at the top of my screen here far left so i'm now going to click on one stop recording very important so i'm now no, I'm, I'm no longer recording make sure you do that if you don't want to continue recording try and test it out we have recorded our first macros congratulations so in my next video tutorial we are going to take a look at how you can now run them these macros as well as edit this macro thank you